this is day three. Um, fifth, no, 10th of May now. One more try. This stuff was in the uh, bottom of the barrel. It looks more moist. And so it's netting. And we'll see if we get any uh, mineral oil to squeeze. Yeah, look at that oil. Yeah, that's enough to pay for a scoop, right? Um, got the speed up at 60 hertz, probably 22 RPM, I'm thinking. This uh, material is triple bagged, and uh, so we're cutting the bottom off and see if we can get at the bottom. Looks like it's got netting in the bottom, full of oil. Yeah, let's feed that into the press. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, gel caps. Yeah, we won't throw the gel caps in. I see we got some gel cap material there. I think that white comes from gel caps. We've left the press running the whole time. Now the cone gradually worked its way shut. Acid test is, can you do that and get away with it? Or you have other problems. starting to chew open on its own accord. Uh, none of us touch the thing. You remember the block of stuff we threw in at the end. Start feeding out of some of the This is what we were hunting for. This is what we were hunting for. You're going to see this video ahead of day one and two. <laughs> I'll repost the video on YouTube. Okay, we opened a cone to clean out the press, and I threw in pieces of styrofoam, uh, stuff like this, and uh, it's what's pushing out that residual material. There was a piece of styrofoam. This is the 26th of April, Friday, 2024. We're at Vincent Corporation, Tampa, Florida. We're running a KP6 press. We've got it going 18 RPM. Slowed it down a little with a VFD. Wedge wire screen. Pretty fine slots on the inside. And air cylinder is pushing the uh, discharge cone closed at um, 40 psi. Okay, uh, we just threw in a clump of gel caps. We started out with some of the uh, clear material and that Oh, this is the gel cap stuff coming through the gel caps. That's not from the clear material. 
where uh, you can see how this material has been shredded into small pieces. A little bit of the clear stuff left over from when we just started a few minutes ago. But there's my uh, press cake coming out. Uh, heavy stuff. I'm curious how it how it goes through. Yeah, yeah, just, I think you had some and it went yeah. through okay. Material slices real easily. Fast enough, we'll see what it does. It keeps feeding as long as there's some stuff on top of it. And this is just a six inch press. And it'll stop feeding pretty soon until we throw more stuff in here. Okay, we're going to start feeding this material. Full inlet hopper. We're still pushing out our marker once we get this stable flow coming out. You need someone to help you? He could uh, also help feed. Keeping up is uh, okay. We're getting high throughput here. That's okay, we're continuing our test. Um, we got some liquid came through here, but that's from some gel caps. We uh, try to snag and shake the gel caps out, but some of them definitely get past us. And so, um, uh, yeah, you don't see any liquid on the screen. Even if that was oil, it wouldn't be enough to pay for... Uh, samples to weigh for the uh, kilos per hour. That was a five minute test down there. This was a one minute test after I went through the auto reversal. Here we're entering, emptying the press and the, the further we get to empty you can see bigger pieces uh, compared to the normal small pieces. So the shredding action, that's what goes on in the press. Again, no oil, no mineral oil separation. This is day two of our testing. Uh, if you're seeing this ahead of day one, it means we've had some success. Otherwise, we're going to tack it on to the back end of after day one. Uh, this is our press cake from day one, and uh, we've got all that stored. I'm going to dump it on a tarp and see if any oil has uh, drained out into the cardboard at the bottom. The other thing we're going to do is over here in our sample material, here is the uh, main drum we were taking material from in day one. We got down this far, and this material looked a lot oilier, and um, that's where we stopped. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take this material, dump it out, separate all the little uh, gel caps, and this is the second tail of them. Make sure we don't have gel caps, because they give a false reading since they put oil through the screen of the press. And then we'll try pressing this from the bottom of the drum and see if, by chance, um, the material on the bottom of the drum has oil in it. And uh, because we already know the material on the first half of the drum did not have any that we could squeeze out with a press. Here's our press cake from day one. What I dumped out of the cardboard box. Uh, that cardboard's still dry, oil didn't seep into it, and what was in a plastic container, same sort of story. A um, little shiny at the bottom of the container, but uh, definitely didn't get a puddle of oil out there. Yeah, we're not, this stuff is still uh, uh, as it came out of the press. No oil draining out from that. 
Hey, it took three guys in an overhead train to get this stuff out of the drum. It did not want to come out. I was going to cut the drink, the drum with an angle grinder, but eventually we got picked out. And here is the material we're going to be pressing. And we're going to go through it and make sure we don't have gel caps in here. Okay, yeah, we're going to start feeding this uh, material. We took it all out of the drum. Um, we've done a little bit of preliminary testing. But I saw this sort of material, and I said, Ooh, it's full of oil. We'll squeeze oil out of it. But it turns out when you unwind it or unstack it, um, we're still not getting any oil out of it. It uh, uh, just reflects better when it's packed tight. We found a few gel caps. Uh, of course, they would burst and put out to whatever's in them, um, and very easily. Don't know if that's an opportunity, but uh, we just keep feeding this in here. Oops, a daisy! It's cake's not coming out. Well, there it started uh, on its own accord. If that were a real problem, we'd set the press, uh, the VFD for auto reversing. See the purple netting coming out come mingled with the uh, full clear sheet. And Oh, we got a few drops of stuff here. Very minor amount of oil being separated. Uh, not enough to really collect a sample, but um, and I wouldn't think of you were looking to get a payback on recovered oil. That's not enough to justify the cost of a screw press. Or if you were running gel caps in there and wanted to squeeze something out of them, yes, there would be value there.